There we go. Isn't that fun, everyone? Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because you'll shoot your eye out, kid. Today, we're doing part two of our Christmas product, wine product review. And uh, things are about to get a bit silly. But first, you may remember from last week, we had the wine stocking. I uh, just thought I'd get a little wine out here. And let's see what Santa brought us today. What we have here is the Vino Diva. Uh, this is, well, it's a wine aeration straw. And uh, the taglines for it are, it's the ultimate aeration in every sip. It's great for coffee too. Keeps teeth white and protected and case brush or case and brush included. Uh, I guess this is the case, a plastic tube. All right, so I'm going to unsheathe. Yikes. Now this present is perfect for that vino diva in your life, your mother-in-law, and someone with really white teeth. I think the point of this straw is not to actually have a pocket aerator, it's to keep your teeth from getting red. All right, so it comes with a little cork for this case, which again is literally a plastic tube. and a uh, brush that you can't pull out because it's taped in there and it's too far away from me. Ah, you use the straw. All right, so the Vino Diva. Uh, one side says C, the other side says V. This is where you get that aeration from. I don't actually see any point where there's any actual aeration uh, coming in. Um, or at least not, it's not gonna be a Venturi style aeration. But let's see, let's, let's put this to the test. Um, pocket aerator, you know what, let's, Let's bust out something that's actually worth aerating. Be right back. All right, here is a Napa cab that was opened a little bit too early. Uh, 2013. It's in an okay drinking, drinking mood right now, but on our left, we're going to have the unaerated one. And on the right, We're gonna use our Vino Air Pocket Aerator. Remember, this is the aerator that works best out of all of my random aerators that I have here. This definitely has opened up a bit. Uh, now let's see. This compared to the Vino Diva. Fascinating. So there is actually an aeration, ah. There's a small hole on the back of this straw for aeration. If I get close enough, you might be able to hear the aerator. Now, how does that do? compared to our larger Venturi Vino Air. I would say this is a half step compared to this, but it still does some aeration. Um, but I'm gonna still give the pocket aerator the win here. And size wise, 
they're probably both just as cumbersome to carry around if you're a lady with a purse. Second test, uh, clearly this is designed so that you don't stain your teeth from the wine. And I can definitely assure you that you definitely do not end up getting any wine on your teeth, at least not the front part, unless you, especially if you bite down on the straw. Which is a weird way to drink things, but it's a metal straw so it doesn't bend. So you're in the clear. Finally, Finally, for the third test, uh, we're going to try drinking coffee, except I don't drink coffee. So, I got another C word, because the other side of this says C for coffee. But I have Coca-Cola Classic instead. Now, this is used for the non-aeration uh, required things, which really just means you're carrying around a metal straw in your purse, or on your person so I don't know well it's straw is, is the real question here on the vino side there's this lip going on so you don't block the aeration hole but you're gonna totally submerge the aeration hole just to use it as a regular straw let's see how this works Pretty much exactly the same. Uh, it's a metal straw, so it'll be able to drink your hot coffee or your cold Coke. I really don't see the point in just having a metal straw on you, but hey, I'm not super eccentric. And then the fine little brush, um, just wash everything out and then Give it a straight little clean through. Get any wine out of there. And you're done. So, Vino Diva. Is it worth it? No, but did it pass all my tests? Yes. Um, if you're more comfortable carrying around a metal straw, if you don't want your teeth getting wine stains and you think that pulling this out at a wine tasting or at a party or some sort of function maybe even dinner is the best way to go you'll get a little extra aeration out of the straw you won't get any wine on your teeth and you could use it to drink other um, non aeration required drinks but if you're looking at this and thinking, hey, I want something for pocket aeration, I would still go with the Vino Air. Uh, it's seriously the best pocket aerator. They're about the same size. They're going to be as cumbersome to carry around. Just something to think about. But we're going to give a pass on the Vino Diva. This is really not ending the way I thought it would. Join us next week where we review the Guzzle Buddy. Yeah, the Guzzle Buddy. And um, let me know what you're going to get for your wine-loving friends for Christmas down in the comments below. Please comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel and help me reach 100, I will love you forever. I would really appreciate it. It would make my holiday season. And from B. Schwitty's home to yours, I still don't have a sign-off. I'll catch you next time.